Hey guys, how's it going? Star Wars Story here, and today I thought I'd make a quick tutorial on how to remove background music. Whenever people make fan edits or fan tributes, a lot of the time they want to isolate a character's speech, so I thought I'd make a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to remove, or at the very least reduce, background music, whilst keeping the acapella audio alive. For this particular method, I use Adobe Premiere Pro for my video edits and Adobe Audition for my audio alterations. Please bear in mind, the louder the background audio, the harder it is for the software to remove it. Your results will vary. So here's a scene from the Clone Wars TV show where a few characters are having a discussion. So what happens to Letta now? The bomber has been moved. Moved? Where? Why should she be moved? The Republic military has taken her into custody. Uh, but why? This is a Jedi matter, isn't it? Clones were killed, which makes this terrorist attack a military matter. As you can hear from the original audio, the background music is present. First, I'm going to select which audio I want to edit and right click and go onto Adobe Audition. From here, I highlight which part of the audio I want to alter, in this case, all of it. And next, we're going to go onto Effects. From here, we're going to go to Stereo Imagery and then Center Channel Extractor. From here, we have the presets, and we have lots of different options. If you wanted, you could remove the vocals and keep the background music, but that's the opposite effect of what we want. So instead of vocal remove, we're going on to acapella. From this list of options, we can choose whether the software focuses on male or female voices, but because we have a bit of each, we're gonna play it safe and choose full spectrum. You can always toy with these to see which ones works best. Okay, and there you have it. Let's hear the difference. So what happens to Letta now? The bomber has been moved. Moved? Where? Why should she be moved? The Republic military has taken her into custody. Uh, but why? This is a Jedi matter, isn't it? Clones were killed, which makes this terrorist attack a military matter. So as you can hear, the background music has been drastically reduced, to the point where it's virtually gone. If you'd like, you can additionally clean up this audio by going on Effects, Noise Reduction and Restoration, Adaptive Noise Reduction, and again an automatic cleanup. But sometimes this can make the audio sound slightly muffled, so you can always undo this action. Now there's probably a more quicker, efficient way of inserting this back into Premiere Pro, but for the life of me, I don't know this shortcut. So what I personally do is I export our new audio to my desktop under an easy name to find, and then I simply drag and drop it back into Premiere and line it up with the visuals. And there you have it. We have successfully removed background music attached to dialogue audio. I hope this tutorial helps you out. If you'd like me to cover any other editing aspects, please drop a comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon because my upload schedule is always random. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Take care.